evening all welcome to space engineers right we're doing this live look look up down left right yeah okay <laughs> and the purpose of doing this live is uh, i thought i'd take you through some of the i guess the edits that i'm trying to do um with this new ship i mean look at that it's pretty impressive isn't it if i just like re-enter because re-entry is always the best point um <laughs> you then see how big this thing is becoming look at that it's a whole it's just, it's, just, it's just one hell of a conservatory, I like to think of it. And it's just a massive extension to this ship. So I thought, oh God, jetpack turns off. I thought what I'd do is use this opportunity uh, to basically show you, I think, what my thought process is with this new ship. Because um, I have kind of, I think we've got to the end, the natural conclusion of series one. And I want to just finish it with a finalization of this ship. Um, we may go on and build something new in the next series, but we are going to continue to use this ship as more stuff gets unlocked. So don't worry. Um, but I think really, I'm in creative mode. Sorry if that offends some of you, but hey, that's the way of things. So we're going to actually look at fitting this this bad boy out today. If I just find so there we go. So we're actually going to build the interior plate. Let me just get in the air so we can basically see that that way round is the way it's meant to be. So let's get started. Well, first off, we need to start removing this wall. Now, I'm always loath to do this because, I mean, there we go. If I remove this, that, that gyroscope is in big trouble. So we need to be a bit careful there. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to build another gyroscope up there. So let's start with that. So I'm just going to plonk that anywhere and there will be lovely so there we go so we can drop that one now without too much fear and then as we start to kind of build oh crap i'm always just paranoid there's going to be something that falls on my head so as i start to remove blocks i'm doing it gingerly as we would say in the, in the uk uh, so i think we're okay to remove this wall so like a sledgehammer to that one supporting post that is obviously going to knock the house down in those funny videos I'm doing this very carefully indeed. Now, again, we can probably remove this side here. So let's just remove these. Now, see what I mean? If I drop that, oh, it didn't fall. Did I miss something? Okay, well, that, that was odd. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess it doesn't do that anymore. And who knows? So mm, let's just remove this and keep going. So as I gently remove these blocks, I'm always just conscious that there's going to be something that flies off. So I'm just going to do this very carefully. There we go. That's looking pretty good. There we go. Now the last thing I want to do is remove a reactor by mistake. So I'm just going to do this with a hell of a lot of care. So if I get to this point here, so let me just remove these. That's looking pretty good. And then there's got one there. So there we go. So that's pretty much stripping out the last of the, I guess, the internal braces, or rather the external braces that have now become internal. What we're going to do is, they're obviously engines, so we're just going to build them in. Oh, there we go, so as I just do this. So let's talk about the game. I mean, the game's coming along really well. Um, there's a new patch on Thursday, which brought in missile turrets. The missile turrets now work, which is bloody awesome. Um, and they look, well, they look pretty deadly, but <laughs> I'm, I'm actually not seeing them in action, so I'm hoping that some meteorites come our way and we can smack them. Here we go. So just always taking that little bit of care. There we go, that's looking pretty good. So let's just remove that as well. Yep, nope, there we go. So that's our open area there. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the remaining blocks. So I'm just gonna do this very, very carefully indeed because if you double click, a reactor goes bye-bye. And while it's not a problem to put one back in, it's a pain in the bum because you lose all your, your uranium. So that's what obviously what we don't want to happen. So as I just keep doing this, Ding, 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 ding. Oh, hello. Oh, saving. There we go. Hopefully this is going to work. Ah, right. Now, that gyroscope's now no longer functional, nor is that one. So I need to replace two more. So again, just, just bear that in mind. I'm just going to plonk them on the roof because that works for me. I will obviously come back and move them at another point. But look at that. It's opening up nicely. So let's keep removing. So as we grind away metal, if you ever watched a program called Homes on Homes, this feels like this. So I should be kind of you know shit talking the previous contractor who built this, <laughs> who built this ship, and just sort of say, you know, what a cowboy, honestly, just not using you know <laughs> high tensile reinforced blocks. What a noob. What a noob. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. 
so there we go so that, actually that's it that's there we go so that's our engine bay completely exposed that looks pretty good doesn't it we may leave it like that as well i think for the moment what i'm going to do is i'm just going to build the obvious thing first which is um you see here we basically have um i guess that's kind of a transition down into there you see that now we're probably not gonna well <clears throat> i'll leave it for the moment but we'll come back to that we're probably not going to leave that uh as i look at that i've got the wrong way around so let me just do dunk dunk there we go so that's obviously the same as what we've got there and then all we're going to do hopefully none of this breaks anything is we are going to cover this entire bottom floor here so let's just do that now so if i go click and then shift there we go Cur chunk. And there we go, that's it. So our reactor is nicely sat embedded, and that looks pretty sweet. And then we have the beginnings of our internal deck plate. Now remember, this is important. I did want this kind of second skin of internal blocks. So there we go, we're just going to put them all the way to there. There we go. Lovely, perfect. I mean, that that's pretty much it. And then what we're going to do is we're then going to fill in this back bit here. So if I just do that again, there we go, clunk, and then let's just do clunk and clunk. So there we go. So that's pretty much encased now. Now what I need to think about is what, what are we going to use this rear bit for? Well. I had a, th a feeling that, um, <laughs> well, to be honest, it was going to be originally a um, an industry deck, but we've got that at the front of the ship now. So this needs to be kind of, I think for the moment, general space that we can build um, within, general space that we can just expand into. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably going to build a bit of a, I don't know, maybe a, a, a I don't want to put another wall in, but I'm thinking I may have to to separate this deck here so I think it almost needs to be let me just say I mean if I make the engineering deck a lot bigger that might be pretty cool so if I'm just thinking there and just build these out so we've got kind of an extended area there